Brexit was certainly on the political agenda on Saturday, with two separate, but related, events. One was the Conference of Civic and Political Nationalists in the Waterfront Hall, with the title Beyond Brexit, The Future of Ireland. The other was a short piece of amateur dramatics at Carrick Carnan, close to the border. There were around 1,500 nationalists and Republicans at the conference in the Waterfront Hall and the speakers include politicians from Sinn Féin, the SDLP, Fine Gael and Fianna Fáil. It was a pan-nationalist platform and a pan-nationalist event, but the program was arranged in a way that put a particular focus on Sinn Féin President Mary Lou MacDonald. Colm Eastwood was there as a speaker, but he was simply part of the supporting cast for Mary Lou, who condemned Brexit, condemned the border, criticized Lee override Carr and demanded a border referendum. Of course, Sinn Féin know that they would lose a border referendum, but the purpose of the agitation is not to achieve such an unachievable aim, it is simply to keep things on the boil and cultivate instability. The conference was not the first initiative by a group of civic nationalists, who seem to have taken the name Think 32, a reference to their aspiration for a 32-county Irish state. Their earlier initiatives were two public letters, signed by civic nationalists, from various walks of life and these laid the ground for the conference. This was the next stage in their strategy. I have not seen a full list of the co-organizers, but two who have been named are Niall Murphy, a Belfast solicitor, who canvassed for Sinn Féin election candidate John Finnecane in North Belfast, and Chris Donnelly, school teacher, commentator and former Sinn Féin election candidate. In her keynote speech, Mary Lou MacDonald conflated Brexit, a border referendum in rights in a way that reflects Sinn Féin's current political narrative. This was Sinn Féin asserting itself as the real voice of nationalism in Northern Ireland, although that is not a term that Sinn Féin politicians use. Mary Lou prefers the North and, a little while ago, Alex Maskey tweeted about a future little statelet. The Waterfront Hall event ended at 2 p.m. and so there was time for three prominent Sinn Féin politicians, Mary Lou MacDonald, Michelle O'Neill and Martina Anderson Mep to get down to the border event at 3 p.m. This was organized by a group called Border Communities Against Brexit, whose spokesman is Declan Firon. There were two actors, dressed up in replica army uniforms and carrying replica guns, while Mary Lou MacDonald and her party colleagues used a sledgehammer to knock down a pile of what appeared to be concrete blocks. The three politicians were women and they were smiling and laughing, but I suspect the sight of Republicans standing on the border with a sledgehammer will have brought back for many people memories of other Republicans in that area who wielded sledgehammers to break legs and break down doors. It was a short event that enabled the Sinn Féin president to demonstrate her skills with a sledgehammer, but the real purpose of the little drama was to provide the media with pictures of the Sinn Féin president as the person demolishing the border. This was about putting the focus on Sinn Féin and positioning the party as the real anti-Brexit voice. The conference and the photo opportunity were complementary. Sinn Féin have collapsed the Northern Ireland Assembly at Stormont and refused to take their seats in the United Kingdom Parliament at Westminster. That can make them seem somewhat irrelevant and so they look for things to do. White line protests at Anderson's Town and poster campaigns against Brexit have lost their impact. The conference and the photo opportunity will, therefore, be seen as reasserting the relevance of Sinn Féin at the level above local government issues. However, this was Irish nationalists talking to Irish nationalists in a unionist-free gathering and did nothing to build a better Northern Ireland. But then, Sinn Féin don't want a better Northern Ireland because their party thrives on cultivating dissent, division and bitterness. Belfast Telegraph